With 28 million people working in Britain, how do you know who to trust? She just pushed me to the ground, absolutely laid into me and slammed me into my face, really, with, with her fists. Not everyone wants to be employee of the month. It was barbaric and painful to watch. You cannot perceive that anybody would basically try and kill somebody because they lost their job. Start from Hell, next Thursday at 9, ITV1. Good evening. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I can have your service. Taste that. That meal began with green oysters. I wouldn't even serve that to my dog. That was me, of course. She never has. Beef, well done. I'm giving very serious thought to eating your wife. Would you eat that? No. Push the knife. I can't kill it. Push the knife. Don't you say grace? Holy. After Hell's Kitchen. I've enjoyed many excellent meals, though. Hannibal, the movie premiere. So, are you into Wham or Duran Duran? 1984 Forever is in a couple of minutes after the latest news headlines. Hello, I'm John Draper. Princes William and Harry say they're very upset at the death of their grandmother, Frances Shan Kidd, at the age of 68. The mother of Princess Diana had been ill for some time. The Queen has sent a message of condolence. The government is hinting that it may act to curb the rise in petrol prices. The Chancellor, Gordon Brown, is to review his plans to increase fuel duty in September. The move came after OPEC decided to boost oil production following the weekend terror attacks in Saudi Arabia. Now what I want to do over the next few weeks is review the progress that is being made by OPEC. It's in nobody's interest that we have higher world petrol prices than expected. And then I will make a decision after reviewing the progress that has been made uh, during uh, the month of August. America's top spy, the CIA director, George Tenet, has resigned. He says it's for personal reasons, but there have been question marks over his future since the CIA said Iraq had weapons of mass destruction which have never been found. Meanwhile, President Bush has arrived in Italy on a three-day European tour. He'll be seeking support from continental countries for American policies on Iraq, and he'll also join Sunday's commemoration of the D-Day landings. Well, I'll be back with more news later. This is ITV1 with you right through the night. Now at a quarter to three, it's Strictly Soho, followed by Cybernet. But now let's go back 20 years, 1984 forever. <laughs> 